The individuals who took part in the groundbreaking CRISPR gene editing trial witnessed a notable improvement in their vision. Greetings everyone. Today's video focuses on a groundbreaking CRISPR gene editing trial that has yielded positive results in improving vision for participants with an inherited retinal degeneration caused by a mutation in the CEP290 gene. The trial demonstrated promising outcomes with 79% of participants experiencing improvement in at least one measured outcome. Additionally, the treatment was well tolerated with no reports of any serious adverse events. These findings strongly advocate for the ongoing exploration and advancement of CRISPR gene therapy as a potential solution for inherited vision loss. Now, without any further delay, let us delve into our discussion. According to Mark Panisi, Maryland PhD, an ophthalmologist and the lead scientist for the Phase 1 Half Brilliance Trial at Oregon Health and Science University, this trial demonstrates the exciting potential of CRISPR gene editing in the treatment of inherited retinal degeneration. As a corresponding author on the paper, Dr. Panessi expresses the gratification that physicians experience when patients describe the improvements in their vision following treatment. One participant in the trial has even shared specific instances, such as being able to locate their misplaced phone and confirming the functioning of their coffee machine by seeing its illuminated indicators. Although individuals with normal vision may perceive these tasks as insignificant, the enhancements made can significantly enhance the quality of life for those with limited vision. The safety and efficacy of Editus Medicine's experimental gene editing therapy, EDIT 101, was assessed in the Brilliance trial. This innovative treatment utilizes CRISPR technology and aims to modify a mutation within the CEP290 gene responsible for producing a vital protein essential for vision. Individuals possessing this genetic mutation experience a unique and infrequent ailment known as Leber congenital amaurosis or LCA type 10. Unfortunately, there is currently no treatment approved by the Food and Drug Administration for this condition. LCA, in its different forms, manifests in approximately two to three newborns out of every 100,000. In early 2020, the OHSU KCI Institute administered treatment to the initial participant of the trial. This significant event also served as the inaugural instance of utilizing CRISPR for gene editing within the human body a process commonly referred to as in vivo gene editing. Through February 2023, the study's latest publication presents the findings and provides a comprehensive account of how the trial's 14 participants, consisting of 12 adults and two children, reacted to the administration of EDIT 101 in a single eye. Notable outcomes encompass, out of the 11 individuals who took part in the study, approximately 79% demonstrated enhancements in at least one of the four measured results. Furthermore, about 43% of the participants displayed improvements in two or more of the outcomes. Out of the total of six participants, approximately 43% expressed a notable enhancement in their quality of life pertaining to vision. Similarly, around 29% or four participants experienced a significant improvement in visual acuity, which refers to their ability to accurately identify objects or letters on a chart. All adverse events associated with the treatment were not severe in nature and have been successfully resolved. The majority of these events were categorized as mild or moderate in intensity. To assess the efficacy of the experimental treatment, researchers employed four distinct measures visual acuity, which gauged participants' ability to perceive coloured points of light through a specialised device known as a full field test. The study examined participants' ability to navigate a maze using physical objects and different levels of illumination, as well as their self-reported enhancement in quality of life. Editus Medicine, the trial sponsor, made an announcement in November 2022 that they would temporarily halt the enrollment of the trial and search for a new partner to carry on with the advancement of the experimental therapy. Penacy and their team are currently investigating the possibility of collaborating with other commercial partners to conduct further trials in conjunction with Editas. The researchers have high hopes that future studies will delve into optimal dosage determine if the treatment has a greater impact on specific age groups, particularly younger patients, 
and incorporate more precise endpoints to assess the therapy's effects on daily activities. According to ophthalmologist Eric Pierce, Maryland PhD, who is also a corresponding author, this study affirms the importance of pursuing CRISPR gene therapy for inherited vision loss through further research and clinical trials. Although more investigation is required to identify the individuals who would benefit the most, the initial findings are promising. The profound impact of this therapy is evident when hearing from participants who expressed their excitement about being able to see the food on their plates. Prior to this treatment, these individuals were unable to read any lines on an eye chart and had no other options available to them, which unfortunately reflects the reality for the majority of people with inherited retinal disorders. According to Thomas S. Aylerman, Maryland, a pediatric ophthalmologist at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and the University of Pennsylvania's Shire Eye Institute, our team has made history by being the first to use gene editing to treat congenitally blind children. This groundbreaking treatment has resulted in a significant enhancement of their daytime vision. Our ultimate goal is to use this study as a stepping stone towards improving the vision of younger children facing similar conditions. This trial is a major milestone in the field of genetic disease treatment, particularly in addressing genetic blindness as it provides a crucial alternative when traditional therapies like gene augmentation are not viable options. According to Editus Medicine's Chief Medical Officer, Bai Song Mei, Maryland, PhD, the findings from the Brilliance trial offer evidence of the feasibility of creating groundbreaking medications for inherited retinal conditions. Through our research, we have successfully administered a CRISPR-based gene editing treatment to the retina, resulting in significant clinical advancements. Participants for the trial were recruited from five different clinical sites, including the OHSU KCI Institute. The remaining sites are located in Miami, Florida, Bascom Palmer Eye Institute, Boston, Massachusetts, Mass Eye and Ear, the University of Pennsylvania and Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, Shy Eye Institute, and Ann Arbor, Michigan. Kellogg Eye Center. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.